last thing I want to talk about is the coefficient of determination. The coefficient of determination is r squared, and you may have noticed when we were running some of these tests on the calculator, it was giving you an r squared value. Um, that's because it actually has some meaning. It's the measure of the proportion of the variation in the response variable that can be associated with the explanatory variable. Um, again, I encourage you to read the, the section in the book about this because it does a really good job. Um, but let me show you what it, it means in one of the examples here. So we have a correlation coefficient for the relationship between the number of rooms in houses and their prices. And you would think that, you know, the larger a house, the more rooms it has, the more expensive it is. Okay, so that does seem to be a positive linear relationship. Um, you know, there's lots of other factors that um, go into that, you know, like location and how well the house has been kept up and that kind of thing. But number of rooms and prices does have a relationship. So um, in that relationship, R is 0.65. So the question is how much variation in how prices, house prices can be associated with the variation in the numbers of rooms. So to answer this question, um, we need to look at that R value. We know that R is 0.65. And if you square it, that means R squared is going to be, um, I did this somewhere, 0.4225. All right, so that means I'm going to turn that R squared into percent. Um, so that means 42.3% of the variation in house prices can be associated with the variation in the number of rooms in the house. Okay, so we know that there's variation in house prices and there's lots of things that factor into it, but 42% of that variation can be associated with number of rooms. So that's what coefficient of determination means. Um, and like I said, I encourage you to read the section um, and just see the language they use for that. But the coefficient of determination is a really helpful thing to kind of give us an idea of how much of the x value is causing some change in the y value and how much of it might be due to something else.